hello everybody welcome to our channel again today and this is a continuation of the episode that we'll be dealing with which is Shoma and obviously Paul so now this is episode 3 a continuation I just want you to sit back and watch uh, our personal reaction to this so let's see now they're back remember the previous uh, if you haven't watched the uh, episode 1 and episode 2 this is the moment for you to watch it because right now they are back from the little break because the guy was upset he went back he went off from the stage now he's coming back after this beautiful lady has spoken to him so let's see what's next thank you for coming back in and we just explain that you know these first therapy sessions it, it's a lot to take in. There's a lot of emotion involved. Please don't feel that that was an unusual scenario. This kind of thing happens all the time. It's okay. Right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I said it from the get-go, this whole idea is bullcrap. Now, with Denise herself, like, what? If we kind of check the credentials, which I'm sure when Trauma was booking the session, she didn't do, like, how do we even know she is the right person for the therapy anyway? This, this is not going to work. This is actually making the situation worse. Like, it's just, it's a hot mess. Going back to a little bit earlier, the social platform that you're on, you know, do you trust her when she's out? I think is probably the of best course. way to ask the question. Of course. Right. So if you both trust each other, there shouldn't really be an issue with what's going on outside. I, ideally, there shouldn't be. Is there anything that's making no. you feel uncomfortable? No. OK. Is there anything you'd like no. to talk No. If I could just get to the end of my sentence. I knew, I knew what you were going to say. Yeah. What was I going to say? Babe, just a question. He's going to listen to you. Is there anything that you'd like to discuss with uh, Shoma regarding your relationship? No. Okay, well, I have something I'd like to bring up. Yeah, go on. And obviously, I don't mean to trigger you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. again, no, 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 but no, no, no. we're here to kind of discuss our issues. And I want to put it out there. It's a sensitive topic. It's his, it's his, his family, it's his sister, basically. <laughs> Sorry? His sister. Um, for me, I don't want. I don't want to be rude about it. I just want to get it out because at the end of the day, he he doesn't see my point when it comes to this. But poor sister doesn't like me. Hey! Um, and I say this because she always has something to say about me. Every time, you know, she sees me. This is someone that knows me off the platform. For example, uh, this is someone that says I don't know how to look after kids. But every given opportunity she dumps her kids on me. And I don't, I don't mean, I don't, I'm not using the word dump loosely. She literally just gives me her kids anytime she wants to go out. And he sees it as experience. But to me, it's more of her trying to make me her babysitter. So you don't like me, but you're constantly giving me your children. You think I'm a bad mum or I don't know how to be a mum, but you are forever asking me to babysit your kids. How does that make any sense? How are you sure I'm not out here poisoning them or pinching them and slapping them when you're not around? For me, a mum knows that, okay, my, my child's happiness is my priority. I don't think she understands that. I don't think she gets that. Do you both come from an equal number of family members or is it very different? I mean, Paul, Roughly. What's, what's your background of family? It's irrelevant, it's irrelevant. Well, it might give us all no, no, a bit no. more what's, understanding. What's going, to give, what's going to give us an understanding is she has a problem with my sister and I'm just finding that out now. Trauma's bringing up my sister randomly. Like, this really doesn't make sense when in real life at home, that's not the case. When my sister's around, everyone's kiki and laughing up at the... And then now we're here. Because we're in therapy, all of a sudden she's now an enemy. Like, it just... Let's, let's make it make sense. Like, that's very, very playful. And I feel like trauma's not being practical right now. Like, it's just a messed up situation. Everything's all wrong and it's just negative. Like, there's no positivity in a whole therapy session. There's not one positive thing. Um, we were meant to go to Thought Park. We went to Thought Park. Um, he told her, I don't know why he did. And she was like, oh, take my kids with you. The thing is, I wouldn't mind that if she came with us. Why are we taking her children to Thought Park? We're not parents. Hmm. 
Does that make sense? Like, I'm not a mum. I feel as though, of recent, I've been sacrificing a lot of my time to look after kids that are not mine. Okay. When you become a parent, you make that sacrifice, isn't it? You drop a lot of your life for your children. Why am I doing that without being an actual mum? And the real mum is having fun. Oh. Did you have a discussion about this trip to Thorpe Park prior to going? With, with him or with, with his sister? About the situation, how it was going to happen, that he invited or however it came up? I didn't know it was happening. I, he, he wanted us to go to Thorpe Park. That was good. He went to tell his sister and she imposed her children on us. Okay. That's just my issue. And it happens many, many times. D Denise. When they cry, um, I try and help them. Uh, and Again, they don't necessarily know... They need their mum, isn't it? Like, every child needs their mum. If I don't know how to shut them up, I'm a bad person. If I don't know how to make her child laugh or smile, I'm a bad person. So why the hell does she keep giving me her children? OK, Denise. Well, I, 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 I literally didn't expect this. And to be fair, I'm very, very disappointed in you. Why? First of all, let's, let's, let's break down the words you're using. Dump. Yeah. OK, maybe wrong choice of words, but... So now, if, if we're actually speaking about my sister that I love dearly, her children that are practically my children, and you know how much I love her children. So why are you not taking care of them? Out of the love that you have for me, you should love them the same and you should look after them. The what, what, did you hear that? Really? Seriously? Because what? you love me. If you love me, and you know how much I love these kids, you look after the kids. If you're talking about my sister's kids, and I know how much I love these kids, she knows how much I love these kids. If you're going to mention them, you need to be delicate, first of all. So at the end of the day, if you're a person and you know you wanna have kids with me in the future, come on, like, let's, let's think about how we're going to approach discussing this topic. You can't just talk anyhow. I'm not gonna feel like, oh, okay, you know, I wanna, you know, try and do something with you if this is your energy towards the... Come She's on, not First of all, anyhow. I love these children. You know that, OK? I love her kids. Doesn't seem like it, but go on. But it does, though. I'm just... My, I'm complaining that I'm with them too much because your sister's like... She doesn't value my time. Mm. And she's using that as an excuse to drop her kids off to our house. Drop, you see? You see? Well, well I don't know. What, what word should I use then? How often does this happen? Oh, my gosh. Like, every two weeks. And sometimes they may... Like, on, on holidays, they may just stay. Do you know what I mean? Over the weekend. And the thing is, she's not at home. She's out with her girls. So I would watch her Snapchat, her Instagram stories. And it's not like I'm having the kids while she's at home. She's having fun. So in other words, we're babysitting for free. Another point. This is why he would never admit that she doesn't like but, me. But babe, 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 please. I, I know you've got points for days, but I just have to kind of just butt in a bit. You know I love you, right? Yeah, I do. OK. I hope so, anyway. To be honest, I feel like trauma, she kind of steers, it's like she likes the idea of us being together married with kids, but I don't think she actually wants kids. Based on how she's describing my sister's kids right now, it's actually a put off 100%. How do you wake up and speak about kids like this right now? My sister's kids, are you okay? I'm not disrespecting the children, neither am I disrespecting your sister. I'm about to, though. That's why we're bringing no, up no, this no, point. No, 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 you're not going to do anything. Let, 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 me, let me tell you what's wrong with trauma, right? All right, cool. So one Christmas, a couple of Christmases ago, uh, you know, she came round to the families. I'm a tiny bit of a chef, but the ladies cooked for the day. I let them have the kitchen. So now, um, trauma specifically made pasta bake, OK? Um, but it's a Nigerian household. So majority of the people are going to have jollof plantain. You, you might know, you might yeah, know, but there was other dishes there, yeah, babe. Yeah, yeah, Don't cool, try it. Cool, cool. Do you know what Chopper done, right? So when my sister, because my sister, uh, well, because, you know, Christmas, generally you're looking forward to the jollof or the XYZ, from my perspective, personally, then now she said, okay, because my sister didn't like the pasta bake, therefore she doesn't like her. Like, you know, that's, you know, you know, you know, literally, that's borderline rehab. Literally. <laughs> no, respectfully, that's borderline rehab. So I need to go to rehab. I'm not saying you need to go, So but... I made it up. No, I'm just saying, yeah. Just the thought process behind tell me, it. It's a tell bit... me, uh, sh you, have you always felt this way with the sister? 
she has something to say about everything I do. Everything. The reason why I felt as though she was picking on me on Christmas was because she knew the dish I made, yeah? She didn't like it because she watched me make it. Everybody else on that table enjoyed the pasta bake. Paul enjoyed the pasta bake. I enjoyed it. We both know it tasted really, really nice. So why she had an issue with it? It's because she watched me make it. She has an issue with the way I dress. So I wear, not necessarily all the time, but I could wear fitting clothes. I could have a little bit of cleavage out. All of a sudden it's too okay. provocative. Okay, look. She dresses the same way I dress. Wait, wait, so wait, why wait. is it such a problem? All right, babe, let me, let me, all right, I'll tell you where I will kind of agree, right? Well, not agree, but where really? I, I kind of have a, a mere understanding of where she's coming from. So, uh, you know, literally, basically, Choma was on a program, a YouTube program called Backchat, right? Now, with that program, um, the characters on that program are, are sometimes, it comes across like they're a bit ratchet, hood, ghetto, you know, if you get... No, I'm saying the characters, not yourself. Yeah? Now, my, my sister is familiar with the program, okay? She knows that Choma was on the program. So, obviously, so automatically, you're going to kind of, you know, think, okay, maybe the person is like that. However, with time, as she started to get to know Choma, she's realised, okay, do you know what, Choma's not like that. And she's kind of, you know... Warm to her. Yeah. When does she warm to me? Tomorrow? Because it hasn't happened yet. When has she warmed to me? Because as of two, three days ago, she, we had a little argument. So when does she... Since everyone wants to talk about Backchat, Paul, his mum, his sister, at the end of the day, Backchat put me on. Paul knows me because I was on Backchat. And I think I conducted myself properly on that show. Yeah, some people might have come and ruined this reputation. But for me, I conducted myself properly. I'm very respectful on Backchat and off Backchat. So I don't understand what the problem is. I accept the fact that Trauma was on the show called Backchat, right? However, if my sister slash people in general kind of paint her with that brush, then how can you blame them if you were on the programme? I didn't send you there, you were there. It wasn't me, so what do you want me to do? It makes no sense because this is someone that knows me off that platform. So you know how I, I genuinely am. Ideally, we should have a better relationship than we do now. But because she's such a bitch, Oh. Yeah, because she's such a problem, a she has an issue okay. with me, let's go, let's we, go. we don't get along. Let's go. And Paul does not defend me. No, 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 no. Paul, this is the way Shoma feels. That's how she's being made to feel. Do you want to defend Choma in calling my sister a bitch? No, no, not no. At all. Let's... Not at all. Oh, my God. In fact, what I was going to suggest mm -hmm. is that maybe, moving forward, you could find a way of getting Shoma and your sister together in a way that would, you know, melt down this, this issue that Shoma's feeling. Look, the way I see it is that could be arranged if need be. It but needs no, be? No, no, that's what, what, no, that's no, what I'm no, talking no, no, about. No, no, let's respect ourselves. Look, this is what it is, right? First of all, the bitch, just take that one back first. I'll take it back, but okay, you've heard my point. Are you going to do it again? What, you don't do that. Answer the question. You see cameras around, okay, chill. Wait, is it, wait, was because it the clearly right thing that's... that you done? No, no, no. Was it the right thing that you done I calling said the my way sister she, a bitch? The, I, she's not... OK, listen, let me, ref, let me rephrase that, because mm. that might come across rude, uh -huh. all right? She acts like a bitch. Oh! So she you might not still want to associate my sister with that word? Facts. Is it she, her fault that you've got backchat? Did she tell you to go on backchat? But I conducted myself properly and, and backchat with wins. So what does that mean? I'm proud no, to have been no, there. What's good, your point? Good, Excuse okay. me. So let's put some respect on backchat and stop trying to talk about it like it's one piece of rubbish that they couldn't have a chance to be on anyway. This is not going to work if you're both talking at the same time. So just for a second, Please, you know, let's calm it down a little bit and let's talk rationally. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to be cheeky, by the way. I, I Carry yeah, I on. Know, She's know. literally giving you a floor to speak. So speak. Are you going to let me speak or do you want to speak over me? Okay. The moral of the story, right, if you want to break it down in a nutshell, just the way she talks about stuff, okay, the kids, we're dumping the kids, the sister, she's a bitch. Come on. Like, anyone with half of a brain knows who is the antagonising person in this situation. Shoma, can you appreciate what he just said? Why would I, why would I have a reason to, to lie on your sister? Do you not think I want a good relationship with your sister? She's just literally given us uh, an opportunity where you can arrange a meeting where you and your sister, sorry, me and your sister can, can get together and have, a, and have a talk. And you've just said, if needs be. I've explained to you that I feel some type of way 
and you're not acknowledging that. You don't acknowledge anything when it comes to your family. So in other words, they can treat me like shit and I should respect them. Why? Because we're Nigerian? Mm. No, because at the end of the day, I'll be very honest, um, your sister's really treading on thin ice right now. Mm. Because, facts. Mm. Because I'm only respecting... <laughs> you want to go again? No, okay. babe. No, no, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Listen, yeah, listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm only respecting her mm -hmm. because I love Paul and I respect his family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the way she's treating me... We are not far off of age, first of all, mm -hmm. and I'm an adult. So you're not gonna speak down on me because I'm dating your brother. I have brothers, I don't speak down on their, their, their partners. So she, I feel like the right, she, she, she's too, she has too much shoulder in my relationship. And you need to tell her that it's you and I dating. I'm not dating your sister. Your sister and I don't have sex. Can I just put... She can't please you the way I'm pleasing you. So she needs to stay out. Can I and you need to tell her, sorry. Can I just put a spanner in the works here? Um, your sister obviously cares a lot for you. Mm -hmm. She's too inner. And it could be, I'm not saying it is, but it could be that your sister is actually worried about losing her brother to... I think so. I think it's the jealousy. The girlfriend. So actually... She loves you so much that she doesn't want someone to come in between you. With my sister, we have a very good relationship. She, obviously, we've been together since I was born, right? Um, so let her marry you then. No, I don't no, understand. Wait, what, how has your sister got to do with let, this? Let, let me finish. Now, when you really think about it, in theory, she's seen all of my exes. So, you know, she's seen a pattern. She knows what I want out of a relationship. She knows what I want in terms of goals. So obviously, if I'm going to pick a long-term life partner, right, and Choma, we're both marrying into each other's families, I think it's within her right to have an oversee on what could potentially be. Honestly, I don't know what kind of relationship Paul and his sister have. I mean, I'm not insinuating anything, but it's a bit suspicious to me. Because um, I don't understand why she's in every single conversation we have. And he's always defending her. I mean, I'm your girl, defend me. At least once in a while, do you know what I mean? If that's what Paul wants, and that's, I don't know, maybe that's how they deal with each other and their family, I should be made aware, you know? So if my family, if my brothers were maybe slapping you every day, you would be happy about that? Did my sister slap you? No, she hasn't slapped me because she wouldn't dare. So She wouldn't dare slap me. Slap what I'm trying to say is if my family was involved so much like your sister, not even your family, your sister, you would have an issue with that. Knowing you, knowing him, he would probably leave me <laughs> because it's just too much to handle, OK? The thing is, she hasn't even given me a chance from the jump. Do you understand? So That's why I'm saying it would be, you know, helpful to find a way of diffusing this emotion that you're feeling but towards the, 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 Denise, your sister. Denise, what, what, if she's not going to be respectful in my house, yeah, right. then she can stop coming. Denise, what you're failing to understand is that there's to this tox toxicness coming out of trauma towards my sister. The energy is going that way. It's not coming back. She needs to deal with what's inside her first, and then we can move on to heal the world. Trauma, you need healing. I need healing. I need healing from who? From your sister? From yourself. No, let me tell you something. I will heal perfectly if you stop her from coming to the house. Honestly, I won't complain again. If I don't have to see your sister again, maybe except Christmas and our wedding day, because we're getting married, then she doesn't, I, don't, I will heal. Okay, babe. I won't have an issue with that, babe, honestly, babe. true to God. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. I would have an issue with that. Well, then he's not, he's not taking into account what I am saying. Babe, babe. His sister hates babe, me. Babe, babe, babe. And he thinks that it's normal. Babe, babe. you need healing, babe. Go away, man, because you're not listening to me. The fact that she's bringing us here and she keeps on bringing it up, those are the type of things that she needs to deal with within herself. Self-healing, basically. That's what she needs to practice for herself. Because if you're still bringing up stuff since 19 hours long, come on, how are we going to move? Ideally. All right, that's the end, guys. That's the end of the section of episode three. And you can see that uh, <laughs> the
there's so much to talk about and there, there's a lot of differences between trauma and also poor there's a lot of differences they have there are differences to manage they have a lot of things to iron out uh, the value system is different the lifestyle is different so I can see purely incompatibility between them so guys watch out for episode 4 it's gonna be up now in the next few hours I believe you're gonna have the episode 4 running but before then share this video like this video subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll be seeing you again and before you go and show you get our book on the screen you can see the book there on the screen get that book is on Amazon right now for especially if you're ladies you're watching this you need that thank you guys for watching and thank you for being a member for family I love you all and I'll see you again in another video until then peace